talked with Coach Warren yesterday. He had a pretty good feel for this game. He's called an excellent game so far. They held Cincinnati one of six on third down. And Desmond Ritter, a Heisman Dark Horse candidate coming into the year, make a play, gets hit, the ball flutters, and it's incomplete. Backside pressure again by the Hoosiers. <laughs> Well, this time it's Jaron Handy. You're going to see him working off the edge right here. Now he's working on 72. They're changing up that offensive line. They've gone with James Tunstall. Didn't matter. Great length. The Auburn transfer gets good length and good pressure for this Hoosiers defense. And back to Charlton Moore. I love this story about how he found out about Tom Allen. He said that after the Alabama loss last year at Georgia, that Coach Kirby Smart put on a video put on a video and it was showing the passion of Tom Allen and he said that he didn't know the Tom Allen. out in the field on the previous play was an incomplete pass. That play is under further review. Okay, the question is, was there an immediate recovery? We'll take a look, but finish your story about... We, they put on this video and it was Tom Allen showing his passion, showing his enthusiasm and that was the first time Charlton Warren had ever been introduced to him and he said he saw that personality, he saw that passion and he said, man, that really grabbed me as we take a look at this on the back side. Well, let's see that there's an immediate recovery as well. There, there wasn't. Maybe they're looking at Target? Oh, right there. Did you see the hit from Micah McFadden against Desmond Ritter? Yeah, he got sandwiched in there just as the ball was getting delivered. This would be a huge blow to Indiana. I mean, that's forcible contact to the header net area, but is he blocked into him here? Is he pushed? Really tough to tell from that angle. What a huge blow that would be, Dusty. Oh, there's no question. He means so much to this defense. Let's bring in Matt Austin. Matt, what do you see here? Do you believe that this should be targeting on Micah McFadden 47 for Indiana? I think it should be. He, he does lower the head. He goes right in head-to-head -head contact. I, I do see contact with the blocker, but it looked like he crossed the course. Targeting. There it is. telecast that he is the heart and soul of that defense and I wonder if Tom Allen is arguing that he got pushed into him but he's done for the day that, that's huge hate that for that young man I, I didn't see any type of malicious intent that is the rule I thought it was well explained by our rules expert well and it's a first down too for Cincinnati it is I mean just massive play in this game you take away the heartbeat of this Indiana defense and you give Desmond Ritter and Cincinnati new life one aspect of that rule that I would love to see addressed, the ejection portion. I'm with you. Yep. I just, that's too costly of 